Uh, my wife and I just had our first child this past year, which is dope. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man, it's pretty cool. If you've never had a new baby before, uh, I'll tell you what it's like right now, okay? Having a new baby, it's like this. Every day, on a scale of one to 10, you just get a bunch of ones and tens. <laughs> Two through nine, take a hike. I haven't seen those numbers for a long time. Every day, there's a bunch of tens where you're like, oh my goodness, we made a miracle. What a blessing. And then there's a bunch of ones where you're like, holy, just go to sleep. <laughs> Like, you know how you're mad right now? Cause you're tired? Just go to sleep! There's a lot of that every day. <laughs> you don't know the joy. Oh, man. Yeah, man, my son's name is Rodman with a Y because my name is Miles with a Y and I'm like, I'm not the only person who's gonna get misspelled at Starbucks, Playboy, okay? Like... <laughs> That's how we're doing it, all right, man? And it's cool, man, he's, he's dope, but if I had to describe his demeanor to you, it would be unimpressed with life, everything. Like, we got a bubble gun, you know, to surround him in bubbles. I'm like, oh, he's a new baby. This is gonna turn his mind to mush. And we surrounded him in just millions of bubbles. And he's just looking like... <laughs> they were better in heaven. Like... <laughs> and look, they pop, they're all gone. Nothing lasts. Like... I'm gonna go inside and chew on my foot for a little bit. <laughs> I showed him Blue's Clues for the first time. I thought he would be impressed by Blue Clu Blue's Clues. I'm like, hey man, let's find all three of Blue's Clues. And he's like, they're all three on your arm. This show sucks. <laughs> things though that he does that I hope stick for like his whole life into adulthood though. Uh, there's a few things he does that I, I, I do hope sticks. Like for example, he calls both my wife and I mama. <laughs> I hope that sticks till he's an adult. Absolutely. Cause you know one out of, I would love to be able to introduce and be like, hi, I'm Robin's mother. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and you know one out of every 10 times you're gonna get one guy that's like, you're his father. And it's like, ah, this is gonna bug you for a month and a half. <laughs> Another thing he does is uh, when you go to change him and you take off his pants, he laughs uncontrollably because he thinks that you're gonna play peekaboo with him. I hope that sticks for his whole life. <laughs> take off his pants, he loses it, man. Like, he's at the changing room at Target. They're like, sir, are you okay in there? He's like, oh, oh, oh yes. <laughs> These pants are hilarious. <laughs> They've got bells on the bottoms. <laughs> as soon as I learn how to whistle, it's all over, man. Yeah, man, being a baby owner is weird. <laughs> it's very strange. Looks uncomfortable, honestly. Like, my wife and I were watching him sleep on the baby monitor a little while ago, and he was dead asleep. But then all of a sudden... <laughs> my wife freaked out. She's like, oh my goodness, what was that? Should we take him to the hospital? I'm like, calm down. He probably just had a dream about taxes. <laughs> I remember my first dream about taxes. It sounded exactly like that. <laughs> or the opposite happens, right? You got a baby losing their mind, won't stop crying. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, <laughs> I'm like, oh no, did I break him? What happened? But I don't check right away. Because if he wakes up, this is going to ruin my night. But if he's dead, this is going to ruin my life. So are you okay? <laughs> okay, here we go. And when he was brand new, my wife was kind of upset. She came to me, she's like, he smiles at you more than he smiles at me. <laughs> and I'm like, that may be true, but in your defense, new babies are super dumb. <laughs> I'm just a series of colors and shapes that he recognizes, man. Like, look at my head. He thinks this is a normal man's head. Like, he sees other guys and he's just like, oh, why don't you look like a clown? Like, he just... <laughs> so unimpressed by everything, man. He's a very wild kid. And I'm just like, don't worry about it. Man. Don't take it too personally. He can't even vote yet. Wait till he's a toddler, you know. <laughs> he just learned last week his hands are attached to him. So I mean, <laughs> it's not that bad. I will say this, I'm a different person now. 
You know, there's me before baby and now there's me after baby. I'm a different human being. I was fortunate enough to be around my son every day of his life for the first six months of his life. And that's super cool because when you're around a baby, you lock eyes with them. You're like, oh, look at you, big, strong man, holding up his head and everything. Look at you, look at you. And you get excited and you should do that with babies. But then I left home for the first time and I saw an adult. <laughs> yeah, I went to Starbucks and locked eyes with the barista and I was like, oh, who's a big, strong barista? Look at you, making coffee, holding up your head and everything. <laughs> Miles with an eye, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm different now at gyms, that's another thing. Like I used, to, I used to go to the gym and I used to be impressed when I'd see dudes curling giant dumbbells. I'm like, oh, look at that guy, he's so strong. Look at him curling those dumbbells. Now I don't care, I don't care. I'm like, yeah, homie, you can curl that dumbbell, but can you soothe it? <laughs> Can you bounce it on your hip for 45 minutes while it screams? No, you cannot, sir. You can lift 200 pounds above your head, but it didn't even puke on you. Look at you staying dry for the duration of your activity. I could deadlift 400 pounds. Yeah, man, but then it didn't even try and get away from you one time. You just got to pick it up and put it back down like nothing was wrong. It didn't try invader salt out of your hands. It didn't decide to test the structural integrity of its spine while you were doing a rep. Less deadlifts, more dad lifts. I'm impressed by those. But it didn't help my case when I lock eyes with the guy across the gym and I'm like, who's the big strong man? And he was into it. He's like, I am. Yeah. Now we're lifting partners. His name is Hank. He's a cool guy. I help him with his squats. <laughs> yeah, man. You also get a lot of baby merch when you get a baby. That's another thing that happens, man. They got all the merchandise. We got a baby wrap, which is pretty cool. It's just a long cloth that you wrap around yourself in 37 different ways. You jam him in your chest and he sleeps for a month and a half. <laughs> It's such a cool invention. And to me, doing that is like the same thing as like ladies, when you get out the shower and you do that thing to your head with a towel where you make your head a monument to soft serve ice cream. <laughs> and gentlemen, you can always tell what kind of mood your lady is in when she does that, where her eyebrows rest on her face. <laughs> like, cause if they sit real low and relaxed like a cholo, it's just like, okay, that's fine. It's like, hey Holmes, let's get some snacks. Like. <laughs> But if she got him in the middle of her head back here, like Tyra Banks, it's like, oh, I guess the laundry's doing itself today. It's like, Baby, you gotta loosen that up. You got veins popping out why I don't think they're supposed to be popping out. <laughs> oh, man. It's wild, this. And I wanted to teach my wife how to do the rap, you know? Because I was like, hey, man, it's a cool feeling to do the rap and then have him tucked in there, man. Let me teach you how to do it. She's like, yeah, Miles, you know what else is a cool feeling? Growing him and carrying him for nine months. <laughs> I'm sure the rap is the exact same feeling, though. <laughs> it's your turn to carry him for nine months, boo-boo. <laughs> what are you going to do? Another cool thing we got is we got a, a baby monitor with a night vision camera on it so we can watch them sleep. Super cool invention. I just don't like the name of it. It's called the Super Uncle. <laughs> right, right. Tell me you had a creepy uncle without telling me you had a creepy uncle. <laughs> I would have loved to have sat in on that meeting when they were coming up with that name. Like, all right, we got a monitor watches your baby sleep. What's that remind you of? Oh, my Uncle Dale for sure. <laughs> He used to watch me sleep all the time growing up. And we didn't afford AC, so he would just breathe on me. I miss Uncle Tail. I hope Scrappy gets him out of San Quentin next week. Another thing we got is we got a white noise machine for the baby, because babies like white noise, because they're racist. I wanted to get a black noise machine. It plays earth, wind, and fire. Just on loop. And then it turns off automatically on the 21st night of September. And that is the last Earth, Wind, and Fire reference that I have. 
Yeah, man. And my wife explained to me like what it does. She, apparently, it simulates the sound that babies hear when they're in the womb, and it's supposed to calm them down, make them fall asleep super duper quick. And I'm like, oh, that's a dope. Yeah, let's get two. Absolutely. And so we get it. We bring it home. My wife presses play on the white noise machine, and it goes. <laughs> and I'm like, what was that? <laughs> She's like, that's the white noise. I'm like, that's the white devil noise. <laughs> That's the sound in your tummy? Like, did you swallow a big screen TV and break it? What happened? Like, tell me this on a first date. I don't feel comfortable using the same bathroom as you anymore. Like, you swallowed the Cloverfield monster and just let him live in there? Like, what is happening? And why are we wasting money on this device when I could break a radio for free? Just tune it around the Telemundo stations. Those ones never come in clear. It always sounds like they're spitting. Maybe the tuba will calm him down more. Let's try that, man. So what also has been cool has been watching all of our friends gravitate towards him. Everybody wants to be uncle this and auntie that. We got one friend who claimed the name Uncle Javi, but her real name is Amy. <laughs> And I like that, I'm gonna allow it. I think more white women should identify as Spanish uncles. <laughs> I think that would bridge the divide in this country. It's like, nah, I'm going over to Uncle Javi's Auntie Karen. You call the cops too much. <laughs> that girl was just trying to sell some lemonade. <laughs> Uh, another cool thing is when my mom got to meet him for the first time. That's always cool, right? When your grandparents get to meet the baby for the first time. But it was weird because I had never seen my mama be around a baby since I was a baby. And she started doing things and saying things and I was like, oh, how am I still alive? I didn't know the gift of life I had. She was doing things and saying things you should never do to a baby. She was like, oh, is he being fussy? Put some whiskey on his gums. He'll get drunk and pass out. They're super cute when they're drunk. And you can't argue with your parents about it either because they always give you the same excuse of like, well, you're here and you're okay. And it's like, yeah, man, but I twitch a lot. 